<laughs> but I think it's, it's, it's a very good thing for Ugandan football, and we honestly can't wait for the next Uganda Premier League to officially kick off. There's a new TV deal in there. Uh, Express uh, seems to be under control now. Uh, KCCA, of course, hope to return to glory. Vipers will be going to the Cup Champions League. You can't write out AC Villa, and you have so many other sides that suddenly will be bragging, uh, will be battling for those bragging rights. But guys, let's quickly move on to one of the biggest headlines tonight. The Uganda Cranes recently haven't been scoring that many goals. As a matter of fact, Sebastian De Sabre's statistics for the Uganda Cranes at the moment are not healthy at all. He hasn't won a competitive game. This is a really competitive game that he's coming <laughs> up against. <laughs> Tanzania is a side we've always beaten. Uh, yes, but yes. This, this looks tricky with our form getting into this game. Do yeah. we have strikers? Do we get goals on Saturday? Yeah, it's, 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 it's uh, a side we've always beaten, but as, uh, as uh, I think discussing with, with Mark before the show, you know, it's a derby. And uh, derbies, it's always touch and go. You do not know what's going to happen. You know, my mind goes back to 2012 when we played Kenya and everyone thought, you know, we're going to paint them with all the colors of mm. the rainbow. In 2011, and, uh, actually. 2011, yeah. yes. And, and uh, they ended up, you know, uh, repelling everything that was thrown at, 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 at them. Or should I say, I know, Origi ended up doing that. Uh, Tanzania is a pretty decent side. You know, obviously there have been quite a number of changes in their ranks. Uh, Emmanuel Amunike coming in uh, barely, you know, uh, weeks to the game. And uh, then there was that major fallout uh, with, with some of the star players. Yes, John uh, Bokos of this John one. Bokos John Bokos and, and, and yeah, Jonas Ernesto. Shomari yeah. Kapombe. Yes, very experienced, very experienced, very experienced players. Uh, players. The Simba uh, guys, uh, uh, yes. Yeah, the, the Simba lost guys. Yeah. Of Six of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Kichuya, but but you, see, you, you, know? see, you see, what worries me with that is when you have, you know, these uh, Johnny Cam Letleys, the up-and-coming players coming in to fill the shoes of uh, these uh, senior players, mm. these young players want to show or to prove that, that uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm worthy of uh, this jersey and, and, and they'll, they'll uh, give their all. So, you know, cranes should not rest on their laurels. And, mm. and obviously you've highlighted uh, a very important fact that, that they do not score that many goals. And uh, you, you, we ask ourselves where the goal is going to come from. Uh, if we're looking at Emo Kui, he's been playing in Tanzania and some of, uh, you know, these Tanzanians know him or they know how Not to sir, counter they him. They know him very well. Because <laughs> he scores on the yes. derbies, you know, yes. I guess. Yes. 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 They know him. Yes. Yeah. But, but that is the big debate. But, 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 yeah. but it's a double pronged sword, yeah. that yes. one, yeah, because they know him, but they run scared of him. This mm. guy walks out of that league and walks back in any time mm. and they'll be fighting for a signature mm. because all, he's always scored goals there mm. and man, and i think yeah he, he, they'll, he they'll probably be running scared and it's not kapombe it's, mm. it's not the experienced guys who are going to be out marking him mm. it's um perhaps a new pa partnership the ones who are carrying his boots put and perspective <laughs> into that yeah. in, in tanzanian football and yeah. you get to play for both young and simba mm. you must be quality yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. Quality. Yeah. But, and, and, um, and the queen has mastered that yeah but, really. but what, what i'm thinking is that uh, this could be um the sabres uh, real homecoming this might be the coming out of the national <laughs> team as far as goals are concerned. Mm. Uh, but there, there's a big worry. Of mm. course, I, I know earlier when we were doing predictions, the four of us, mm. um, uh, Robert was laughing at mine <laughs> and thinking, what are, you, what, what, are you, what are you smoking? Because I was thinking the cranes are actually going to get goals. <laughs> but I actually do believe they are. Uh, because it's, it's not that they cannot get these goals. It's not that they're not playing the football to do so. Uh, it's just not um, falling in place for them yet uh, with the new manager and all. Mm. But there's potential mm -hmm. and uh, there are times when you finally realize that potential mm -hmm. uh, in uh, in uh, the man we just talked about um, or queen, mm -hmm. queen yeah. in people like in Sibambi and mm -hmm. he's got five forwards in there mm -hmm. five strikers in there and he can mm -hmm. only play one at a time mm -hmm. I think yes. he plays a four two three one yes. the Sabre and uh, at most only uh, only one other will come mm -hmm. on perhaps at, at some time along during the match mm -hmm. but even then whoever he, cho he chooses to start there will be goals there and Sibambi can get them in there or we can get them on the floor and then you've got, uh, you know, Center Moa and Edris Salovega, what they mm. bring. Uh, I, d I doubt that Patrick Cadre will Kadri. kick a ball, mm. uh, but we'll see. Mm. Uh, you never know with these things. Mm. But then there are also, also goals out of midfield, especially from Farouk Mia. Yes. Mm. And M Mia. And, and he's in fine goals going yes, for Mia. For his Russia. club, yeah. 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 And yeah. this is a guy who knows how to score them in, 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 in national colors. Mm. It, it hasn't happened uh, lately. And he's not been playing good games for the Cranes, actually, mm. over the last three or four. Mm. But this is a guy who can turn it on again. And I don't see why not. Because I've always, what, the thing I've always liked about him is his application, um, his intelligence. Because mm. I don't think he's the most, most naturally gifted player I've ever no, seen. No, he's not. But he's, he's got uh, intelligence and, and uh, the ability to be Raving right place. into the box. Yeah, yeah. right place at the right at time, the right yeah. time yeah. Mm. Uh, for Mia. Mm. And he's got a lot of self, self I, I think we're going to do this self discipline. Mm. So yeah, I, I think... As the pan yes. on the press box tonight, we're yeah. going to come up with our own first 11.
uh -huh. who we think should play against Tanzania this weekend. Mm. Uh -huh. uh, you can join us now with your own reaction. Mm. That hashtag is up and running. <laughs> when Uganda cranes score the goals against Tanzania, we haven't done that recently. So mm. you can tell us which there, which attackers you think the Sabre should throw in there. The uh -huh. hashtag is NTV Press Box. But also we have a Facebook page. Yes, mm. we have finally opened up a Facebook page that is uh, NTV Press Box and an Instagram page as well to show you everything behind the scenes. I think let's quickly go through the team mm. as we get those reactions in online. Mm. Asha, I'll start off with you. We know Denis Onyango will be the goalkeeper. Mm. Who is in Uganda's back for? Well, uh, looks like uh, Timothy Awani will be partnering uh, Murshi Juko. Of course, Juko yeah. has to face Tanzania. Come mm. on, this is a league where he's uh, yes. bossed, you know, the squads uh, mm. in, 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 uh, while mm. playing for Simba. He's probably Simba. the country's mm. best central defender he at the moment. Absolutely, yeah. 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 absolutely. So I, I there, there's see. no doubt about yeah. that. Yeah. Mm. Then, of course, you'll have a debate uh, whether to go with Dennis Iguma or uh, Nicholas mm. Wadada. Wadada. Who plays in Tanzania also. Uh, who plays, uh, yeah, uh, mm. uh, in Tanzania for Azam. Azam. So mm. on the right. And then, of course, I think he can stick, of course, Godfrey Walusimbi mm. for me at left back. Mm. Um, he ha there's no mm. doubt about that. Mm. Yeah, so the that's the for back Kaiser Chiefs. Okay, yeah. Yeah. At, at, the full back back at the full back position, <coughs> um, whichever choice he goes with would not be a bad one because mm. I think there's little to choose between the full backs on either side mm. and they've all been playing well. Yeah. Yeah. So Wadada has done good things for the national team even when he was here with Vipers when mm. we thought that personally mm. I, I, I prefer Goma mm. uh, uh, to, to play ahead of him mm. but when Wadada came in there he actually justified his, his choice and I, yeah. I couldn't argue mm. but um, I have reasons why I prefer Goma. I, th I think he's a more disciplined yes, uh, yeah. all-round player yeah. Yeah. And, uh, but Wadada is very good going forward mm. and playing in front of a home crowd mm. when you need uh, attack and width which actually the cranes will not have forward mm. it's going to come from the full backs i don't see why Wadada shouldn't play uh, so i don't mm. have a problem there okay and even on the left mm. well, the think, by the time Muleme left Muleme. this country mm. he was mm. in great form yeah. yeah and i don't think it has dropped while he's in no, 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 he's been playing very well in very well i think yeah. while well, yeah. 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 he's got a new breath of fresh air when he signed left back at kaiser chiefs which is one of the biggest sides on the african continent really at joffrey we shall see whether he starts madoya i'll come to you let's go through that midfield who do we see starting in that midfield well usually plays two holding midfielders um, so uh, I'm thinking Hassan Waswa and, uh, and Aucho, Kali Daucho, okay, who, who is uh, unattached. Unattached, eh? yeah. yeah, but you've got I don't to know, know that he's, that he's, uh, Luanga he's, also he's got who is a favorite of for Tadeo Luanga. Yes. Mm. He loves mm. Tadeo Luanga. He does. And Kali yes. Daucho is unattached. And he's patching. So I, would, I wouldn't be yeah. surprised. And he's talked about Tadeo Luanga the last time he was mm. in the press. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. When he was here, mm. he was, and that was at a time when Tadeo Luanga was getting a lot of criticism yeah. because of uh, his treatment of Alan Akello oh, yes. yeah. in, in the league. But, but the, he but preferred him then. Because yeah. it's a very important game. Mm. It is. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just position. trying to read his mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking yeah. I, I think Kaida Ucho is unattached he'll, he'll and he's got a preference for Tadeo. Every coach, by the way, has got biases towards yeah. certain players. Yeah, and right. uh, if Tadeo Luanga is his, I, I mean, I think, I think, I think no matter what they say. I think he'll play Aucho, actually, coming to think of it. I think he'll, he'll go with Aucho. He's the senior man. He's the senior man, the more experienced. And Hassan Waswa. With a bigger array of weapons than Luanga. So we have the two holding midfielders in there, all defensive folks. Who are those three right in front of them? I start with you, Mark. Who sits in there right behind like I, I talked about Mia earlier, yeah, I think yeah. it'd be one of those. Uh, I don't think that uh, there's there's beating um, Ochaya to mm. the left slot on midfield, and, um, and then Chisto Luaga is that is that man mm. who you think will be the third? Again, you mm. know he's only just returned to, into favour. Yes, uh, 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 at the Nations Cup he didn't acquit himself well and yeah. uh, mm. dropped out of favour. So many people th thought he shouldn't even be called back mm. because uh, there were discipline issues with him and uh, and Mitchell uh, and, and, Micho and mm. Basena. Mm. Mm. Okay. Then, but uh, he's back, mm. um, and uh, he's playing at uh, Borisov yeah, back in Belarus. Borisov, yes. Now, mm. the style with which Borisov play, uh, w which is one of the things that uh, uh, I've always liked We're about Ruaga. We're in the same group with Chelsea. By yeah, the, the, yeah. Always, the thing I've always liked about Ruaga, and also what has disappointed <laughs> me, is that he's playing in more technical leagues than all of our other midfielders. <laughs> Uh, well, playing out in Portugal, mm. I, I expected him to do a lot with the ball, a lot more with the ball, mm. when he came down to play for Uganda than the other midfielders mm. who are not playing in the leagues which demand uh, yeah. that kind of technical quality yeah. from you. Mm. And then now he's in Belarus. Mm. And uh, Borisov, if you've seen them play over the last mm. five, six years in Europe, mm -hmm. the kind of football they play. And I think he's, Actually, got, he's got the veteran yeah. Alexander Kleb for, mm. for, yes. uh, for a teammate, isn't for it? Team yeah. 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 Now, if some of what Kleb can mm. do rubs off on you, mm. um, I'd like to see that in the in Kren's color. So, <laughs> to be honest, I'd like mm. to see what Luaga has got to offer now that is coming from that is, league. Is, is I know that they're very technical. Is, is One of the smaller leagues in Europe where um, you have to play, uh, you have yeah. to be technically gifted to play. Mm. Luaga Luaga is, is, is one of those players yeah. who, who, who frustrates quite a bit because, you know, his yeah. repertoire, he has a lot of uh, skills in his repertoire. But we haven't seen him uh, do that at a 
a consistent yes. level. Actually, you can count off the fingers of one hand, you know, the number of games where he has been able to impose yeah. himself. That's the I think I remember right. Guinea and, uh, and Botswana. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and, and, and yet at, he's at a ball player. Yes. He's that player you... You know, that's what that, that's what disappoints me about him. I him. always expect a lot more from him than he, he delivers. Well, but, of course, uh, I, again, we do apologize. Again. Uh, Hassan also couldn't be with us tonight. He was supposed to be on the show, but uh, we do understand there are tighter regulations in the Uganda Cranes camp, so mm -hmm. uh, some of the players couldn't come on. But like you said, the real battle is actually who starts up front, mm -hmm. who becomes Uganda's mm -hmm. lead striker. Uh, does Okui take that spot uh, without if a doubt? Um, it's not without a doubt. I d again, I I'm not sure about the Sabres' uh, preferences here. But you know, um, Sibambi has is somebody who's got uh, 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 weapons mm. uh, as a lone man mm. yeah. because he's, he's a b he's bigger than them. Yes. He's stronger in the air. He he can feed off uh, the cross coming up from the wide areas okay. from Anochaya mm. or Wadada. Mm. He's um, so he's got that. Um, Okui of, of of course has got uh, more weapons. Okui is more versatile. Best he's uh, he's a better, better mover and everything, mm. and he knows. The opposition we're going to play against i, I think he's got um, um an advantage in knowing who we're going to play against and uh, being able to strike fear in them yes so if disabre considered that uh, he would go with okui right. uh, but then but then i don't know edris are guy somebody who's not got an opportunity in the cranes yet mm. that much his but, time will come. But his, uh, his time will come. <laughs> but uh, quickly send us your reactions. Who should start for the Uganda Cranes has got up size, front? Yeah? And yeah. Uh, the bigger debate really is because we haven't been scoring that many games. Sebastian De Sabri uh, came into our ranks during the Chan. Yeah. And uh, since then, results haven't gone the right way. But you can understand. I mean, he said, I want to get to know these players. I want to understand these players more. Mm -hmm. In so many ways, Asha, the honeymoon is done. Well, the honeymoon is done, Andrew. But you see, if he says the same thing next Monday, and we're here on the press box <laughs> and have not won, it's going to be a different. Story, oh yeah, okay? oh yeah. <laughs> without a doubt, a without a doubt, the patience <laughs> will, will wear really thin. Yeah, no, it, 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 it has, it's wear wearing thin, yeah. thin, but it will run out. Yeah, because look, <laughs> it will run out. If it doesn't, everyone, Tanzania. like like Madoy said, everyone mm. thinks this is a very easy si uh, side. But no, mm. we're talking Buana Samata mm. scored a, a, a hat trick, yes. you know, in the in the Champions League yeah. playoffs, you know, yeah. and again he scored in the return leg. Yeah. So he's a very key player for for this Tanzania He's the best goal getter in this region. Yes, he is up there among the top five goal scorers on this African he is continent. on the continent you know? yeah. I think what's yeah. quite interesting yeah. though is what we expect now from Emmanuel Amunike mm -hmm. uh, he hasn't been in the ranks for so long mm -hmm. that we've watched so many games and we know his style we know his tactics but he comes into Tanzania quite a short while he recently just signed the other day mm -hmm. so we're not exactly different from the Taifa Stars Madoya <laughs> uh, we, are, we, we are not well, well uh, in a way we are not but 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 uh, the Sabra has been uh, around for much longer than yes. Amonike and, and actually he also had the training camp in, in West Africa so he should he, his, his charges, he should know what his uh, starting 11 uh, will look like mm. as opposed to Amonike mm. but, but just you know reinforcing uh, the bit of, uh, of Buena Samata you know it's, it's, I, I would really want to see him uh, coming up against uh, someone like Timothy Awani, that's if he's to start. Mm. As, 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 as to telling Mark of Awani is always do a, is due an error in, in, in uh, after f <laughs> <laughs> something like 15 minutes, he yeah. drops an error. Although, you know, the error count has uh, it has dropped, dropped yeah. down, He's yeah. developed yeah. lips and bounds and now, yeah. Cup champions uh, and, 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 and the but beating, yeah. yeah. Cases here beating and his yeah. Beating his wits against uh, Samata is going to be it's quite be something because, yeah. Be so right, yeah, yeah but this is a guy who's yeah. been taking on Tunisians and Egyptians and Moroccans and yeah. uh, mm. on the continent uh, yes. <laughs> in recent times. Yes, yeah. 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 Champions League, huh? guys, yeah, yeah. guys, guys I'm the host of the show. <laughs> yeah. 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 Can't keep interrupting you. Pardon, pardon. Yeah. It's Pado. Right. 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 <laughs> I'm the host of the show, guys. Uh, one of the conditions we're having here on the press box is actually to compete with you. So what these panelists have done is we've created an interesting table where everyone will be putting in their predictions every single week mm. all the big premier league matches we are going to be picking two or three matches and everyone here will be giving us their expert analysis and predictions and of course if they get them wrong you're right you can start trusting them less but uh, we've also had our <laughs> predictions in for the big game uganda up against tanzania i think i should just remind you uh, the folks should quickly remind me madoy what is your prediction for uh, uganda tanzania on saturday Mine was a marginal one nil win. One nil for Uganda. Yes. Uh, Mark? I'm going, I went 3 1. You went 3 1? Yes. So yeah. scoring three that's, why, yeah, that's why Robert was <laughs> laughing at me like, <laughs> yeah. like, like I was high on something. <laughs> that's a proper yeah. homecoming. Um, <laughs> well, it's a clean sheet for Denis Onyango. Mm -hmm. It's 2 0. Okay, there you go. Who should start for the Uganda Cranes up front? It's the poll we've been running on Twitter. The hashtag is NTV Pressbox, but we are still giving away these jerseys as well. We have one for Liverpool. We have one for Manchester City. And the simple question is, who was the first ever player to play for these two giants in the English Premier League? That hashtag is DSTV Pressbox Jersey. Joe Kamadi standing by with all the reaction. Joe. Hi, many thanks, Andrew. 
Of course, as you heard from him, uh, we did ask you about if you those judges, if you want to win them, tell us who was the first player to play for Manchester City and Liverpool. Many reactions have come in, but uh, just because of time, we'll mix them up because we also did ask you who should the Sabres start with in attack if the Cranes are to begin on uh, their goal attack and to bang in those goals. Use the hashtag NTV Press Box. Now, uh, I'll just start with a few reactions here and... Um, Right, we'll start with Inspector Derek, who says, uh, guys, talk about the dancing raster. Is he with the team? Uh, of course, he plies his trade with Cape Town City down in South Africa. Sir Fabian pa uh, Pavez, you say, uh, Andrew Kabura, Ben Misaga is a typical Ugandan. Only Ugandans make such bold and senseless moves. I'm pretty sure he wants to prove a point to his former employees at Villa. I'll let Andrew uh, answer that when we get back to him a bit later. Bule Richard say Chisito Waga is a good player but an addition of Mesut Ozil. Hmm, I'm not quite sure about that. Inspector Derek, you say, by Saturday 7 p.m. we shall either be trending the Sabre out or the Sabre in. Sincerely, guys, this is a no-excuse game. Well, Sabiti Morris, you say Moses Waiswa should get a run out uh, at least off the bench well uh, inspector derrick again you come and say on a game with tz whether we are good or bad it's a game you expect uganda to win no excuses no matter what it's a disabre should come good on saturday Bula richard again you say uh my confidence is with the uganda queens is high since farouk mia has been playing playing actually at his club scoring and creating goals i believe we shall get a very good win um, Arnold K. Quizera, who's watching us from Rwanda, you say expect the Cranes to find their scoring touch against Tanzania. Lots of Ugandan players playing their trade in Tanzania. Uh, I think Uganda should have a comfortable win against the Tanzanian. Otherwise, I might be the first person to commence the hashtag, the Sabre out. That is Inspector Derek. I'll just go with a little uh, uh, comment here from Mr. Big Up who says, I, and I think this is in reaction to the DSTV press box jersey uh, competition, you say David James was the player who played first, was the first player to play for Manchester City and Liverpool. Uh, Josiah Buzega, you say, wow, Asha Komugisha, and this one is for you, Asha, looking extremely beautiful tonight. That is Josiah Bugeza who says that. Uh, <laughs> Anna Kuzera, you say, Asha again, that religious angle. Asha, you're getting a lot of... Uh, uh, traffic on, on on twitter today remember you can also catch us on facebook we've also uh, opened up a facebook account and an instagram account as well so go down to ntv press box and follow us there you'll catch us there uh two more maurice lagu you say peter Bailey started couple both and finally inspector derek you say nyami chobara is trying to prove a point sorting out the management figures getting set for the new season in high gear misaga will be a good addition indeed and do remember you can catch that cranes game don't miss out on the cranes game that will be on saturday at 3 p.m on potato customers active on family compact compact plus and premium will watch the uh, game between tanzania and uganda a dstv hd decoder goes for 182,000, of course and comes with a deep decoder installation and one month of subscription we are proudly powered by dstv and guinness we're going to take a short break but when we come back we talk the uefa challenge cup what is it about the guys will be telling it about uh, telling us about that and so much more including uh, the european league english premier league Manchester united won arsenal won chelsea are still maintaining their perfect start and a surprise watford is hanging there at the top with the big boys that and more after the break <laughs> 